Greetings, and thank you so much for listening to our presentation today on the Atlanta University Center Robert W. Woodruff Library and our wonderful Archives Research Center. Established in 1982, the Atlanta University Center Robert W. Woodruff Library is an independent entity supporting the research, teaching, and information needs of the largest and oldest consortium of HBCUs in the world. We think of ourselves as a unique institution, which is the academic hub of the Atlanta University Center, serving four institutions of higher learning, Clark Atlanta University, the Interdenominational Theological Center, Morehouse College, and Spelman College. The Archives Research Center is built upon the renowned Trevor Arnett Library Negro Collection, established at the Atlanta University in 1925, we are proud to have several different collections in our holdings, including a rare book collection, which was built upon the Henry Slaughter Collection. A significant addition to our book collection is the John Henry Clark Africana Collection, including a full library of Clark's holdings. We also have the Spike Lee Sports Journalism Collection, which was donated to support the sports journalism program at Morehouse College. In addition, we feature archival collections that document the Atlanta University Center institutions, featuring photographs and printed and published materials. We document the historical institutions of the Atlanta University Center, which include all the institutions that you see listed below. Many of the schools have changed names, are merged, and we do have the historical records. We also have manuscript collections and digitized collections. Some of our manuscript collections include the Asa G. Hilliard III Papers, the Neighborhood Union Collection, C. Eric Lincoln Collection, and the Walter Rodney Papers, as well as the Walter Rodney Collection. Several digitized collections include Morehouse College Martin Luther King Jr. Collection, the Tupac Amaro Shakur Collection, as well as other audio and visual materials found on our digital commons. Our subject strengths lie across disciplines, but we are strong in civil rights movement, African American religion, race relations, higher education among African Americans, as well as African American literature and professional organizations. The Walter Rodney Papers are one such collection that are very rich with materials documenting Dr. Walter Rodney, a Pan-Africanist scholar and activist. His collection spans the years 1960 to 1987 and consists of several series. The largest series is the Writings by Rodney series. Additionally, we have one of the premier Harlem Renaissance Collections, the County Cullen Harold Jackman Memorial Collection. This collection includes many documents and photographs of significant figures in the Harlem Renaissance. An image of Dorothy West is among many of the images found in the collection. Several were taken by Van Vechten. Also included in the collection are flyers, programs, and original documents, such as Dream Variation, a poem written by Langston Hughes, handwritten in this collection. Another collection of interest is the Maynard Jackson Mayoral Administrative Records Collection, documenting the political career of Maynard Jackson, a graduate of Morehouse College who became the first African-American mayor of Atlanta and a major southern city. Within this collection, we find materials related to the Atlanta child murders, as well as the expansion of the Hartsfield International Airport, the Olympic Games, and MARTA system, the Metropolitan Atlanta Rapid Transit Authority. Jackson's mayoral records showcase the pioneering changes Jackson brought to Atlanta in the areas of transportation, minority business inclusion, and reorganization of municipal administration as the first African-American mayor of Atlanta. 
Also within the Archives Research Center is the Neighborhood Union Collection, which was founded in 1908 by Lugenia Burns Hope, the first lady of Morehouse College as well as Atlanta University. She and other women of means banded together to create a private social welfare organization devoted to improving conditions in areas surrounding the Atlanta University Center. This collection contains many pamphlets, surveys of conditions, as well as images of life surrounding the AUC. This particular image is the Chadwick Homan School found within the collection. A newspaper clipping also documents African American women and Caucasian women coming together to fight injustices in the state of Georgia. Lastly, a promotional pamphlet on neighborhood union activities is only one of many sort of promotional materials found within the collection. The Voter Education Project organizational records document the Voter Education Project, which was based in Atlanta but served all southern states in voter education and voter registration. The records span 1962 to 1989 and document the administrations of some past executive directors such as Vernon Jordan and John Lewis. The collection is rich with promotional materials, flyers, and posters which feature artwork to help encourage people to vote. One Special one is this one, Hands That Pick Cotton, Now Can Pick Our Public Officials. Very aesthetically pleasing. The Atlanta Student Movement Collection documents the civil rights movement and protest activities led by Atlanta University Center students in the 1960s. The students are known affectionately as the Atlanta Student Movement. However, their official name was the Committee on Appeal for Human Rights. The Appeal for Human Rights was created by college students at all of the Atlanta University Center institutions, written particularly by Spelman woman, Dr. Rosalind Pope in 1960. This appeal was featured in the New York Times, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, and several other newspapers. An image from our Atlanta University photographs portrays the students meeting on campus. The library has also created Seeking to Tell a Story, Political Action from Slavery to Civil Rights, a digital exhibit which details information about the Atlanta student movement and movements that came before, which may have influenced the students. This is one of our digital exhibits. You can find our digital exhibits and more on our website at www.aucTR. Edu. The current screenshot shows the archives page. From the main website, you can click on archives and you would find this page of information. In the red box, you'll see search collections. In the green box, you'll see browse collections. That will take you to a database which will search our finding aids for several of our collections. Here at our Finding Aid search, you can do a keyword search or you can browse collections. You'll find a listing of many of our collections with their finding aids, some which even include links to digital objects found in our digital commons or other digital exhibits. More about our digital collections and exhibits. You can go to our website and go under Find Materials, scroll down to Digital Collections, and you'll find several listed there.
Included in our digitized collections are the HBCU Library Alliance Digitization Project founding documents. This project includes 22 institutions, HBCUs, who have contributed many of their founding documents to this project. The Finding a Way exhibit is a digital exhibit on the history of the Atlanta University Center and how families banded together to send their students to college. Seeking to tell a story you've heard about, and Digital Commons Institutional Repository holds many of our manuscript collections audio-visual materials. Included in the HBCU Library Alliance founding document in the Woodruff Library series are Atlanta University bulletins from 1881 to 1909, as well as founding images of our various AUC schools. A screenshot is shown of what that page looks like, and you can again find it from our website, www. AUCTR.edu. Our Digital Commons is our institutional repository. It contains research and scholarly output deposited by the students and faculty of the member schools, as well as materials from our archives and manuscripts collections. A screenshot here shows the Atlanta University catalogs and bulletins, which are fully digitized and accessible from anywhere where there is internet access. Here you see a screenshot of the Asa G. Hilliard III paper's audio-visual materials. Videos from Asa G. Hilliard III's collection featuring his speeches and speaking engagements are found here. It is very robust and rich and can be shared easily with others throughout the world. Seeking to tell a story you've heard about already and please visit that digital exhibit. We would love to welcome you to the Archives Research Center. Visitors to the Archives Research Center are encouraged to make appointments to ensure that materials will be accessible and staff are available for assistance. Appointments can be scheduled by email or by phone listed here. Periodically, the Atlanta University Center Robert W. Woodruff Library offers research travel awards for scholars who would benefit from access to the Archives Research Center's holdings. Please feel free to email us and continue to check our website to learn more information.